Signs of hope today as the first round of COVID-19 vaccines ship out to all 50 states. This comes as the White House Coronavirus Task Force report paints a grim picture across the country and Florida in particular. The report saying Florida needs to put stricter measures in place to slow the spread of the virus, including a statewide mask mandate and restricting uh, on some businesses. News for Jack reporter Joe McLean is live in our newsroom tonight, breaking down the report and the legal battle to make it public. Joe? Yeah, the White House Coronavirus Task Force issues this report every uh, for every state, and it does it every week. And it covers the status of the pandemic uh, in the particular state and how leaders should respond to it. Now, those reports uh, go to the governors of each state. But in Florida, Governor DeSantis hasn't been making these uh, reports public. That's what led to an open records lawsuit. This 14-page weekly report was authored by the White House Coronavirus Task Force. This is the 25th issue for Florida, and as of last Sunday, puts the Sunshine State in the red, or highest impacted, category. Quote, Florida has seen stability in new cases, an increase in test positivity, and increasing hospitalizations and deaths, indicating unrelenting community spread and inadequate mitigation. The task force recommends stricter measures for slowing the virus in Florida, including a mask mandate for public places, increased distancing, and reduced capacity for indoor spaces inside bars and restaurants. It also urges state leaders to issue warnings to the public about the upcoming holidays and that Floridians should limit gatherings outside of immediate households. But Governor DeSantis has repeatedly panned statewide restrictions like mask mandates, saying they're bad for the economy. Late last month, the governor extended his order to ban local COVID-related shutdowns, restrictions, and mask rules, contradicting the recommendations from the White House. Last week, the Orlando Sentinel and South Florida Sun Sentinel filed a lawsuit claiming the DeSantis administration violated open records laws by not releasing these reports. The newspaper's editor-in-chief, Julie Anderson, saying, quote, The state has given us no explanation as to why this crucial health information should be withheld. We had no choice but to ask the court to intervene to uphold the public records law. And that task force report also said of all 50 states, Florida had the 41st highest amount of new cases per 100,000 residents and the 33rd highest rate of positive cases. However, the report also said, quote, rankings are almost irrelevant as the entire country is surging. Live in the newsroom tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.